April 28th. Um, I just now heard some more information about another earthquake, like a 7.3 and another part out there on the other, along that fire belt, you know, getting ready to hit America. You know, we've seen a lot of earthquakes, seven pointers and eight pointers over Japan, everything. A lot of them over there. I mean, these are signs upon signs of flooding in Texas. I mean, sinkholes everywhere. Um, it's getting ready to hit here. And that's why I keep trying to tell people, you know, Matthew 22 clearly says that uh, many were called to go to that wedding, okay? And nobody showed up. And I've told you guys on here before where it felt like deja vu to me when I was standing at the doors of uh, many of churches and they all told me how busy they were. You know, they had things to go do. And uh, what's going to happen, you know, I mean, Matthew's 22 is pretty clear on this. It says, uh, it says that he's, you know, he's the king's wrath. He's very mad. And he said that he's going to, uh, he said these people aren't worthy. So what he's going to do is uh, he's going to destroy a lot of people. A lot of people here in America are about to die. Uh, and then he says uh, he's going to send his servants back out again to uh, gather people to furnish the guests for the wedding. Okay? So there's going to be some people going, but they're going to, I guess, going to have to get the fear of God and humble themselves. You know, these are the things I've been asking people to do for quite some time. Then I got those people that want to come on my channel and say that you don't have to and tickle your ears. Um, you got a lot of those guys out there, man. Um, they're they're going to answer for it, too. They're going to be in a lot of trouble. Because, um, number one, they're, they're giving you little pieces of the Bible where, yes, Jesus did God die on the cross. All that believed in him would not perish but have everlasting life. But let me tell you something. You can't serve the devil and him together. You'll love one and hate the other. Most people are talking about their favorite politicians on the job, but they deny the name of the Lord. And they go, well, it's not allowed. It's illegal. You know, well, they said so was politicians, too. But you did it anyhow, you know, because everybody else was doing it. And I've been trying to tell you about my visions where everybody's going down that same path. See, I'm, I guess I'm kind of like giving a last call to some of the people that may be perishing. I don't know. Because um, it says, you know, many are, you know, if you make it on the first resurrection, more blessed are those that make it on the first resurrection. Because those that uh, are made on the second, you know, they're basically, they're damned. And, uh, you know... I want to ask you something. How would you feel if you did something very spectacular to, so people could be saved? Because you know what? We, we would have never made it. We wouldn't even had an opportunity to repent had Jesus not did what he did. You know, and to repent, that means to turn away from the world and to come to him. You know, that's why nobody showed up for the wedding. Everybody, you think if you don't show up to the wedding that you, you're still blessed? No. People didn't believe. They were busy. And that's why everybody's going faster and faster and faster. You know? Um, and you're not going to see what's coming. You're not going to see it. Obama even said it right on live television. And people just laughed. Ah! See, I had a vision of people laughing until the skulls shrank in their head and came out their mouth. And what that meant was hell and damnation. You know, they damned themselves. They don't even know it. You see a lot of people putting LOL on their messages. A lot of Some people know exactly what that really means. A lot of people don't. And they think and laugh out loud. Let me tell you something. I've seen that. And anybody that thinks they can be laugh out loud right now with, these, with everything you see going on, you better uh, consider what you find your humor in here. If you can find humor in these end days, it, it makes me wonder. You know, because I haven't found any humor yet. I mean, I've been living in this truck for quite some time. 
And uh, normally like this during the daytime, I don't even have my shirt on because it's really hot. And uh, I'm just wearing my shirt just to, uh, you know, be a little more respectable um, to the viewers that might be out there looking at this. But uh, my message is always, and it always will be, about repentance, coming out of this world while you still can, because that's the Word of God says that. Yeah, and I'm not just sitting there reading favorite scriptures out of this book. I'm asking you to get your book and then to read on repentance and then uh, about picking up your cross, following Christ, because you can clearly see these are the end times. I mean, you've got very little time, you know? I mean, very little time. It could, I mean, it could happen now. And when it happens, it's going to be bad, real bad here in America. That's why I've been telling people quite some time, I carry three five-gallon cans of gas in the back of my truck filled. Now, if I had room back there, I'd probably have five uh, fives of gas back there, two more fives. It's just the cost of it, you know? I might have to try to make some room in the back of that truck. I even got like probably five, six cases of water back there. I've got extra canned goods, stuff, you know, not a lot, a lot of little different things. And it's mainly going to be for people that are left behind because I know I won't need all this. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that's going to be for people that are left behind. And I hope, I hope it makes it into the hands of somebody that's, you know, going to at least try to follow the Lord. You know, and be, you know, be a light to others instead of, you know, the evil. It's going to be wicked here. And those that are left behind, it's going to be totally wicked. It's going to be evil is what it's going to be. Because, see, the Holy Spirit won't be here anymore. And after we get enough people to furnish the wedding, um, that's the great multitude that everybody sees in he that he was seen in heaven, all wearing white robes. See what got those people to do it. You know, if you read Matthew 22, it clearly says nobody showed up for the wedding. Okay, so you got to ask yourself, where's the wise and where's the foolish? Five were wise and five were foolish. You know, but nobody showed up for the wedding. Okay, so apparently we we got to get some people to that wedding, don't we? So what's going to happen is a great destruction because that's God's word. It's in here. Matthew 22 sends his army out to destroy it, the cities. And uh, that's what's getting ready to happen. You know, we've seen the earthquake signs everywhere. And when it happens here, everybody's going to know that, you know, they were warned, well, by certain people. Like I said, I don't have the large following that a lot of these others got because... You know, I'm not here to tickle your ear. Um, and I think those that found this channel were led here um, to, uh, you know, search the scriptures better. And when I said come out of the church, you know, you need to come out of it because they're perverted. They're ran by uh, demonic masonry groups that hijacked the churches. They perverted the word of God. They told people what they wanted to hear. It's written in the Holy Bible that in the end days, that's what they'll do. They'll tell you what you want to hear, um, you know, because they, they don't care. You know, they're worldly. They don't even see what's going on, and if they do, you know, they got a demon in them. There's a lot of them, and then they're working your front doors, too. They're greeting at the front doors, and uh, they're all saying, you got to love it all. You got to love it all. Even the stinking thinking stuff, you got to love it all. You know, and it's a lie. People have been led away by the wolves. I've been doing what I've been doing for quite some time, you know. My business, you know, I'm, I guess, you know, because of that angel above my head, I, my business was meant to go under, you know. That's why I got that angel above my head. This is what I'm supposed to be doing just what I'm doing, you know, and uh, I couldn't compete against people in Florida, you know, unless I did what they were doing, but I wasn't meant to do what they were doing, that's why I got that, 
You know, that's what I was meant to do. Just what I'm doing. You know, but there's a lot of stuff in this Bible you need to read besides those favorite little passages. I talked to some other guy this evening, you know. I told him about how Bush read Psalms 23. Then Obama doubled that seven years later and read Psalms 46. And I said seven years later, I doubled what uh, Obama read, Psalms 92. He goes, well, I've got Psalms 91 memorized. I said, well, that's another ear tickler. I said, you need to read Psalms 92. I said, because there's a lot of words in here that tell you what's about to happen and why. But see, nobody knows those words because they like to have their ears tickled. And the Bible says that in here, too. Matter of fact, and they don't even read those words. Um, but this was all written, you know, so there's going to be a great destruction coming. Yeah, you know, it's going to be a great destruction. I just opened my book right up, and it says, Peter delivered from prison. And it's uh, listed right underneath uh, Acts 12. You know. <laughs> this is the prison we are all in. some serious trouble here people we're in some very serious trouble people have not been reading all the word of God they've just been reading what they want to read and there's a lot in here you know even when you look at what Israel went through the wrath that they suffered you know according to the word of God that was meant as what could happen to us here if we did did what they did and we did we did exactly what they did you know and that's exactly why uh, this nation is underneath damnation right now and there's a word in here it's called an abomination to God we got a president named Obama in a nation I mean it's all right there in front of you the signs it says signs on the heavens and the earth you'll see it Man, there's not only that, there's names of businesses, everything. It's right there in front of you to see, but you can't see. That's why everybody's going as fast as they can go, you know. And if I was out there still trying to work my business, I'd have to do that too. I wouldn't even be able to do what I'm doing, you know. And I'd be struggling to try to keep what I've got, you know. And everybody's about to lose it all anyhow. They don't even know it. These banks are going to close down. People that own all these properties and stuff what don't get nuked. People are going to be invading this country, taking it over. Uh, nobody's going to own nothing. You're all going to be slaves. Anybody that survives it, you know, it's going to get wicked, man. And uh, then you're still going to die, you know. The Word of God says it. You're still going to die. Nobody's going to survive this, what's coming. Nobody. Not even those that come here to, to uh, take it over. This is the last and final battle. The Word of God says that. You know, but a lot of people in churches don't even read that either. You know, they think this is going to go on and on. You know, well, it said that in there too. You know, that people said, well, where is he? This has been happening for thousands of years. No, it hasn't been, man. This is the end. You know, it's the end. Like I said, when this earthquake hits here, there's going to be a lot of people that die, that are going to die in it, you know. And uh, we're going to gather the people up for the wedding, and then we're leaving, you know. And this is your only opportunity, you know. It's your only opportunity, and it's over. So, I guess with that being said, you know, like I said, I, you know, I post a lot of these because the reason why is because I don't know when it's going to be my last one. And I know there's not very many more to go. You know, and this is going to be over very soon. You know, I've had people say, man, this is your sixth one today. I don't care. You know, I'm posting another one and another one. Because <laughs> I don't know when it's going to be the last one. You know, and this is going to soon be over. And, uh. You're not going to get another chance, you know. That's why I say, that's why he says to come out of it while you still get in the Word of God says that. Unless you suffer the wrath that's about to befall it. 
You know, but you got people out there saying, no, no, no. Look, I got this favorite little passage right here. You know, that's all they know. I told them, I said, man, is that all you know? You don't even read the rest of the Word of God. You know? I know Jesus died for us, because otherwise we wouldn't make it. Nobody would make it. You know? Not even that many people are going to make it to the wedding. You know, because they got to repent of it. Even after this destruction, when he said to go get the good and the bad, that means everybody's going to be going, Lord, Lord, you know, oh my gosh. They're going to be howling out because that's going to be more wicked than they've ever seen. You know? And uh, there's going to be a lot of people that are repenting. Those are the ones we're going to go get. And I think we're going to get them that fast and then we're out of here. You know, and there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be thinking, we'll clean it up, we'll fix it. Uh, we turn it back to the vomit. You know, that's what it says in there. You know, it's just a lot of people can't figure that out. You know? The dog returns back to the vomit. Even seeing the destruction, they're going to think, oh, there's work. We can make more money. We can fix it up, clean it up. We'll make it. You know, it's, you're not, you know, how, how can you say you're, you, you're, you're looking at towards the devil in the world? Because if you're looking towards Christ, you'd know what time it is now. You know, hope you, hope you can see something, man, and, and get yourself ready. Hope you found what the Holy Spirit to you.